Welcome to our course on risks and returns of investing. People invest money because they want to see it grow. Before investing, you should determine the types of risks associated with the investment you are about to make. All investments come with some level of risk, and usually the risk level taken on is expected to be offset by the amount of the potential return. The idea is that the higher the risk of an investment, the higher potential return of that investment. So what exactly is risk? Risk comes in all shapes and sizes, but the biggest investment risk is the possibility that you may lose some or all of your money on an investment. Determining the types of risks for each investment varies depending on the company's development stage, the industry, and a variety of other factors. For example, one risk of investing in an early stage company is that once you own the shares, you may not be able to find buyers if you want to sell them. This is called illiquidity. That risk doesn't exist if you invest in a company like Apple because you can sell Apple shares in the public market at any time. Another risk is the higher potential to lose some of all your money when you invest in an early stage company. A company such as Apple has a tried and true track record that you can see and then make a determination that is probably isn't going to go out of business anytime soon. That may or may not be true about early stage companies. So once you've assessed the risks, you want to think about the potential return. Going back to the Apple example, we know Apple is a huge company. Its market value is over $500 billion. So if you invest in Apple today and its value soars to $750 billion, that $250 billion increase represents a 50% increase in value. On the other hand, an early stage company that is valued at $5 million would only need to increase $2.5 million to reach the same 50% increase. $2.5 million and $250 billion is obviously a huge difference. But on the other hand, if the early stage company hits it big and is valued at $50 million a few years down the road, that's a 1,000% increase. In other words, you are handsomely rewarded for the greater risk that you have taken by investing in an early stage company. When you invest in an early stage company on early shares, you get the benefit of a unique return, the return of being an early shareholder in a community business. You become an important part of the company because you help give the company the capital boost that it needed to try and get to the next level of success. Thanks for watching this course. We'll see you soon. Stay tuned.